I had what I thought was a mouth ulcer that just wouldn't go away. Um, and I saw two different dentists over a period of about eight months. But because I didn't fit the profile at the time, because I was a woman, because I was in my 40s, because I used to be a smoker, but I hadn't smoked for eight years, social drinker, um, I think they just didn't expect me to have mouth cancer, and so they didn't recognize it. I went to my GP, and she made an appointment for me to go and see a consultant at the National Maxillofacial Unit in St. James's Hospital in Dublin. So I went along there for a biopsy, and a week later I went to get the results, and I didn't leave the hospital for seven weeks because it turned out that not only was it cancerous, it was very advanced. I had surgery first. They split my lip and they basically opened my face. They peeled my cheek and they took out most of the jawbone on this side and the teeth obviously went with it. Um, part of the cheekbone um, the cancer had spread to several of the lymph nodes in my neck. They took bone and fat and nerve from my leg and they used it to rebuild my face. And then I had really aggressive radiotherapy over a period of about seven weeks. I ended up having to be readmitted. Um, and I think it's important to say that because one of the things about mouth cancer is if it's caught early, if it's diagnosed early, the treatment is really straightforward. It's nearly as simple as removing a tooth. So the longer you leave it, obviously the prognosis is not as good, but also the treatment is a lot more severe. So the sooner it's picked up, the better. Side effects. Wow, where do you start? Um, I can't open my mouth very wide. Eating, obviously, then is an issue. I was very lucky because I got my sense of taste back. It went for a while after radiotherapy, but I did get it back. Um, I can eat most things so long as somebody gives me a knife and a fork. Speech can be an issue, especially after I've been speaking for a while. When I start to get tired, my mouth gets very boxy. I begin to slur my words a little bit. Um, but I, I recognise I've been really lucky because I know people who can barely speak at all. I found it difficult at first, I did. And um, in the immediate post-surgery period, I looked a lot weirder than I look now. And some of the kids on our street, they used to bring our friend, their friends around. They'd come up to the window, you know, have a look, and I'd turn around and they'd all run away. <laughs> it was a bit like, what's eating Gilbert Grape, you know? I, I know I'm lucky. My cancer was picked up really late. I should be dead by now, and I'm not. Um, they thought they were going to have to take some of my tongue, and they didn't. There was a question for a while about maybe my eye being involved, and it wasn't. So... I just reckon everything's a plus. Well, I used to smoke and uh, I was a pretty dedicated smoker for, for quite a long time. But I had given up eight years before. I really thought I got away with it, but obviously not. The only thing that I can sort of point to is that I had had a, a wisdom tooth that was growing at a funny angle here and I started to chew my cheek in my sleep and I had the wisdom tooth out and I thought that was it, problem solved. But within about two months, the same area started to get sore again. And I think that was it when I went back to the dentist, he thought I just had this habit of chewing my cheek. I think that if anybody has a lump or a sore that doesn't clear up within two to three weeks, it should be followed up. I think maybe people who've been through it, if they can get involved in media campaigns and things like that, that's, that's one way. But I think 
dentists and GPs have a huge role to play in getting information out there. Dentists in particular, because I think most people don't think about their mouths as really part of your body. You just don't. I didn't. Um, so I think it would be in everybody's interest maybe if dentists were able to promote the link between health and mouth care. And they're the ones who are literally at the coalface. You know, they can do it.